Laura Nickerson here to give you the buzz on local news and events. Ten years ago, a group of activists stood up to one of the nation's largest banks to block development on Amundsen Ranch, the land I'm standing on right now, which is currently known as the Upper Las Virginis Canyon Open Space Preserve. So let's take a look around as they celebrate their 10-year anniversary of this great battle, and I'm going to fill you in on the buzz. Question of the week. Which bank did environmentalists have to battle to acquire the legendary Amundsen Ranch area? I'll get you that answer in a minute, but first... Ready or not, the holidays are coming. So why not celebrate in style with the Leonis Adobe Museum's winter celebration? Sunday, December 8th from 2 to 5, swing by the historic museum and farm for crafts, feeding the animals, games, and holiday exhibits. Now, I don't want to give anything away, but I heard a rumor that a certain jolly bearded gentleman might visit as well. No, I don't mean Dumbledore from Harry Potter or Ashton Kutcher. Here's your local news of the week. The Environmental Commission is having its meeting on Tuesday at 7 p.m. and the Planning Commission is having their meeting at 7 p.m. on Thursday. Both of those meetings will be streaming right here on CTV live, so make sure you check them out if you can't be there in person. If you're wondering what those crews are doing out there on Las Virginis Road and Moro, well guess what, they're installing a 30-inch pipeline. And this is part of the Las Virginis Municipal Water District's Backbone Improvements Program and should be completed in May of 2014. The MROC Live campaign is presenting a screening of its mini documentary, Breaking the Silence, at Agora High School on December 7th at 6 p.m. The MROC Live campaign supports the anti-bullying proclamation that the city of Calabasas presented earlier this year. Starry, starry night, paint your palette blue and... Who doesn't love that song? And a great reason to sing it. How about starry nights right here at the Las Virginis Open Space Preserve? This Friday, December 6th, dress warmly and join the Mountains Recreation and Conservation Authority on the half-mile hike to the observation area, and you'll discover what you'll find in the sky in the transition from autumn to winter. Meet at the Victory Boulevard entrance trailhead. Parking is $5, but the program is free, as is my rendition of the song. Starry, starry night. Hey, whoa, 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 hold on. Oh, where are you going? Come back, come back. Page your palette blue and gray. This is on the visits is... As a mom, how many times have you heard the phrase, that's not fair? Well, how about making fair fun at the Malibu Mommy Fair? Head over to the Malibu Library Saturday the 7th from 11 to 2 p.m. and enjoy the free event featuring resources and products made just for you. Visit MyMommyFair.com for details. You can bring your whole family to the event or just go solo and have the hubby take the kids. That seems fair to me. If you like your Christmas celebration to have an old school feel, take the drive up to Camarillo Ranch on December 4th for Christmas with Santa. Head on up from 5 to 8 p.m. to visit the Claus family and Santa's workshop in the Red Barn, wooden toys plus a decorated Victorian home and carolers. Details are at CamarilloRanch.org and all the funds benefit the Camarillo Ranch Foundation. Earlier I asked you the question, which bank did environmentalists have to battle to acquire the Amundsen Ranch area? The answer is... Washington Mutual, which is now defunct. Hey, make sure you bring your whole family out here and explore the beautiful Las Virginis Open Space Preserve. In the meantime, I'll be back with you next week with more of the buzz. Starry, starry night. Well, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Come back here. I'm not done yet. I'm just getting warmed up. Paint your palette blue and red. This is...